Alex with windowcleaner.com. So you just got your new Unger N-Light kit. You picked out your pole, picked out your tubing, your angle adapter or gooseneck, and you got your favorite brush. Now you may be thinking, how should I assemble this? What goes where and what do I do? Somebody help me. So I'm gonna show you different options you have for running your hose, hooking up your brush, hooking up the jets on your brush, and how to operate this whole kit. So the end light is a pole that you can add on to. This happens to be the 28 foot version. If you plan on just using the 28 foot version, I'd recommend running your hose internally. It is all preference, but me personally, I would run the tubing internally. If you plan on ever putting extensions on the pole, or you have extensions already that you wanna use, it is gonna be easier to just run the tubing externally and connect that way. So we'll show you how to run the tubing through the pole and connect to your angle adapter, to your brush, or keep it externally and just connect to your brush. In your kit, you'll find 82 feet of this Unger and light hose. It's 3 16 inner diameter and 5 16 outer diameter. Those are pretty basic standard sizes for the water fed pole industry. So it'll work with any fittings you may have from any other brands and brushes and things like that. This male quick connect will fit in any standard garden hose quick connect. Unger makes them, you can find them locally as well. They're super inexpensive. I would recommend having a backup, but that's what this fitting is for, very common. If you're gonna run your tubing internally, you're just going to slowly feed it through the water-fed pole, and eventually it'll work itself out through the top of the number one section. Once your hose emerges from the top section, pull about a foot out and feed it through the standard angle adapter that comes with the kit. Open the number one clamp and slide the angle adapter in. Choose your desired angle, it's pretty easy, lever and a tensioner knob. So your hose is through the angle adapter. Before we can connect your brush, we're gonna have to remove this 90 degree push fitting from the tubing that feeds the jets on the inside of this brush. The tube will feed into the angle adapter and come out the side. To connect the brush, grab these two yellow levers, snap the brush in place, let go of the levers and test it. Make sure that it's in there nice and secure. It's not gonna spin or come out on you. Lock this brush. Okay, so now you have one tubing coming from your water source up your water fed pole, and you have one tubing that feeds the jets on the inside of the brush or the rinse bar to choose from. Either one you choose to, just use a supplied push fitting, push it to connect, and you're good to go. This is how it's gonna look feeding the rinse bar. If you wanna change that, Disconnect. You can either use that same straight fitting or the 90 is actually very comfortable because you don't get any kinks in the hose that way. From here, you can change your brush from fixed to pivot. You can extend using the simple end light clamps to your desired height. And of course, down the road, you can always add an extension to this pole. That's how you set up your basic Unger N-Lite water-fed pole kit. We have more videos explaining each of the Unger N-Lite brushes, how to add extensions, and other Unger N-Lite accessories. They're all available at windowcleaner.com.